So we're doing St. Trina's Torch. I think for this run, what did I plan for? I want to say it was either Warrior or it's probably Prophet, actually. I think they were pretty similar. Might do Warrior, though, just because I never do Warrior. OK, so let's see. What do we want for the appearance? Go with this guy. We want Stone Sword Qs. And I think other than that, we're good to go. So this is essentially is going to be a torch run. We're going to be using a torch the entire time, one way or another. This is like the first torch run I've done in almost two years. I did the steel wire torch. It was like probably one of the first 10 runs of Elden Ring I did. Oh yeah, I need the, uh, duh. Need that. So I'll start with just the regular torch, I think. And then eventually we'll get to the snow field and we'll get St. Trina's torch. So that's going to be a ways away for now. I think I need 200 runes to buy the torch. Wait, can you not two hand a fist? I'm trying to, but it won't let me. Hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think you can power stance torches either. So that's kind of a bummer because I would, but you can't really. You can dual wield torches, but they don't have like a special move set. I can't remember what L1 actually does with a torch either. It might just block. Or like, like, you know, you hold the torch up. I don't know, we can test it out right here when we, uh, when we get the thing. Wait, so I am two-handing. What the hell? Because, or something, I'm blocking with L1. So this is me two-handing, but it doesn't actually... You don't put your fists together, I guess? That's interesting. I don't know, but you do this. You do, like, two-handed attacks. I guess that's how it works in this game. I'm so used to, like, DS2 two-handing, but I don't know. For some reason, that's, like, the default in my head. When you two-hand a fist. Because the R2 is a, yeah. Okay, anyways. How are we starting this run? Probably normal start, I'd say. Go get the Source Seal, go get Dectus. We'll do Godric and Renala. And then we just gotta do enough to get to the snow field, and then from there get the torch, and then win. Godskin Duo is gonna suck. Not looking forward to that. Yeah, we're gonna have this weapon for quite a bit. Where is it? Right here. Let me see. So torch in the left hand. Yeah, this is what L1 does, so you can't power stance, unfortunately. Hey, on the plus side, it's going to be very bright in caves now. So that's cool. I don't really know how far we're going to get with this today. Uh, I'm hoping we can get through. We'll probably be able to get through Godric, I imagine. Or actually, we'll get past Godric today. But in this first hour, we probably will get past him, hopefully. But honestly, like, I don't do any fighting until Margit. And even if Margit and Godric take a little longer, it won't be that bad. There's just so much setup at the beginning of the run. Except... Does this even use FP, the, uh... Torch attack? It does not. So we don't even need a blue flask at all. We will, I think, for the, uh, St. Rita Torch, but... Right now, we do not. And even then, I don't really know how much of that I'm going to use. All right, back to the first step. So let's throw this here. I'll throw this tier two for later. I feel like one of these days, I'm just going to end up randomly picking, like, the prisoner starting class or confessor, because I never do those. Never pick those classes. I think no matter what you do, like, Confessor will not actually beat out any class, because there's always a class better to start than Confessor, unless you, like, really want the... Uh, whatever weapon it starts with. Whatever incant it starts with. But, like, the stats are always going to be worse than literally any other class. I can't remember why, I just remember looking at it one day and I'm like, damn. It's kind of disappointing. Although I do think I did a Confessor start when I did Sonav, but I can't remember. Confessor might actually be better for, like, getting to certain levels faster, but, like, for an endgame build, I don't think it's going to beat anything. Because Sonaf was weird. You needed, like, int and faith, some amount of strength and dex. You needed a whole lot of stats, and for some reason, I think Confessor was what I ended up going with. I think there are, what, six torches in this game? Steel wire torch I've done. Regular torch, St. Trina's. Beast repellent torch, Sentry's torch, Ghost flame torch. Whatever it's called. I don't know if that's what it's called. Might be it, though. I think those are the only ones. I'm pretty sure this is not a somber weapon. I should have actually thought about that before I started picking up smithing stones. 
The St. Saint Trina's torch is a somber weapon, but this one I don't think is a regular torch. Look how bright it is. Don't hit the barrel. Oh, and it's dark. I feel like it's very rare for me to pick warrior, too, because I feel like samurai a lot of times is just better as a starting class. I mean, not only do you get the Uchi to start, but it just like the stats are better. What is the start on this one? It's like high dex, kind of, you know, decent everything else except for arcane and faith. Now that I think about it, I don't know if Warrior was like the backup for the Hand of Melania or for this one. Can't remember. It's not a big deal either way. I'm not worried about it. So we need to sell three of these. Buy three of these. Hmm, do I want the Axe Talisman? Am I really going to be doing charged R2s with a torch? I can get it just because one, I'm here, and two, what else am I going to put on? I'm not sure why this bear sometimes that's like in these ruins doesn't wake up. Sometimes he doesn't, sometimes he does. It feels random. Well, that must have woke him up. Did you do a run with the bouquet from White Mask already? I did. Did it sometime last year, I think, in like the summer. Uh oh, that's bad. Run. Yeah, if you want to see a list of everything, if you do exclamation point weapon list, it'll uh, tell you everything that's been done. For the most part, it's not like perfectly updated, but it'll uh, have most of everything I've done. The church. Grab this. Off to Kaelin. Whoa, lag. I can't remember if this torch does pure... Well, it's not pure fire. It'd be fire and physical. I don't think it has holy damage, but I could be wrong. It has faith scaling, though. Man, you do not start off with a lot of vigor on this class. Although it's more than wretch. Uh-oh. Imagine if the uh, torch actually went out because it's raining. And then you just lost half of your damage. <laughs> that would suck. I'm actually trying to remember what stance I even needed for this thing. Where am I looking? I think we're good on decks. I need, I want to say like 16 faith. Although I'm not 100% sure on that. I'm also not really worried about it right now, considering we're so far from the torch anyways. But I think I planned for like 50 Faith, 40 Dex, 60 Vigor, 50 Endurance, and probably like at least 20 Mind. Strength I don't need to worry about. Int I don't need to worry about. Arcane is not important. I know that like every class has enough strength to, to wield this, at least with two handing. Because I think it's like 11 strength. 10 or 11. Ooh, that was close. All right, we gotta get some smithing stones. I don't think I need... I don't know if I need the aids. I'm gonna get the aid, but I probably won't use it because I think I'm just gonna get to plus 21 before uh, the snowfield because we gotta get through Nile. But I don't know which one the aid is, so I'm gonna pick up everything here. Never mind. Picked up the, the two sevens first, and I don't need the eight which is the only thing left. Yeah, if you rewind to two hours ago, this run is exactly the same as the Hand of Melania, but uh, the only difference is I... Hang on, let me get this. Actually, don't, I don't need that. Actually, no, I'm going to get it. Yeah, the only difference is uh, the class and the weapon that I'm holding. Exactly the same start. <laughs> yeah, I started as Warrior because, uh, I don't know. For some reason, I remember Warrior being good to start with for this weapon, but I don't actually think it is. I think I'm mistaken, and I think Warrior might have been better for the Hand of Melania, but it's fine. It's not a big deal. Am I fine here? Am I going to die? Okay, good. Oof. So we rest here. Actually, we don't rest. I'm sorry. We leave. First step. 
Even better when you gain Bloody Slash than use the Lost Ash bleh, Use Lost Ash Ward duplicate it and then infuse both scimitars with the skill at Bleed Affinity. That sound pretty good. Unfortunately for me, I am using a torch. <laughs> but yeah, the curved swords, dual curved swords with bleed. Can't go wrong with that. Sell one of these, one of these, buy three of these. Yes, all done. Oh, let me put the source seal on too. And we're gonna go to gate fronts. Tor, just keep moving forward. Like I'm holding forward. I don't know why you stop or why my character stops to call Torrent out. You're just supposed to go forward. It keeps happening and it's so frustrating. Like there's no reason to just be standing still. Keep moving. Yeah, just don't pick up the gold and see, that's fine. All right, so we got 12 smithing stone ones. We can go get plus three. We'll do Margit, Godric, then we'll go to Ray the Caria Crystal Tunnel. Let me get this first. Go to the round table. You think this round table's in the Shadow Realm? And that's why there's a second one. Hmm, where are we going around here? Hugh. Master Hugh. So, I don't even know what I need for this. Okay, I need more. Hmm. Where did I miss one? It's probably at Fort Height. Uh, I'm trying to think of another one I can quickly get. Because Fort Height's kind of far. I don't really want to run back there. Hmm, I know where I can go. Please, through Summit Water. You know what, I can get the Green Turtle Talisman while we're here. Might as well. But I still have all this stuff. Woof, stunned him. So, Smithing Stone 1. Please let me run away. I'm gonna keep mashing it until I can leave. Oops, nope, here. Actually, I, I should have gone to the round table. I got upgraded. Hang on. So, let me pop. I guess this. Actually, I had runes. Whatever, it's fine. Can maybe level. I don't think I've even leveled yet. One level, please. We're just gonna go Vigor, honestly, to like 40. We're gonna have no damage for the entire run. Oops. Level. Boom. I mean, I, ideally, I have 60 Vigor by the time I hit Godskin Duo, because that fight's gonna be rough. Gonna be hitting for essentially no damage. It actually does quite a bit of fire. I, I you know, I, I'm not surprised, right? Because it is a torch, but like I figured it would have been a closer split than 63 and 13. You don't even get fire damage, like more fire damage from the scaling. I guess it's just the base. And then the rest of the damage goes into uh, physical. That's interesting. Oh, physic, did I put the thing on? I don't think I did. Did not. I mark it with a plus three torch. Nice. 75, oh baby. It's gonna be a long one. 113 and R2. 167, that's not too bad. I mean, it's a charge R2. It's not good. Staggered him well. 318. A little concerned for the uh the edge here. Can we can, you wanna come over here? Thank you. We'll get to hear some boss themes in full for sure. No, it's not ready for that. Whoops. Uh oh. 
Don't throw anything. I hate you. Okay, it's fine. We healed. <laughs> okay, a little too greedy. Still too greedy. Wow, he went right into that. I don't think I've ever seen him do that. Get to that combo from another attack. Oh, come on. How'd that not hit? Maybe torch attack? Oh, I guess torch... You can't do torch attack if you're... Two-handing? Huh? Oh, maybe it's like an offhand thing only. That's so weird. Damn it. That's so strange. I gotta really stop getting hit by that. Who knew a torch can do so much damage? I wouldn't say it's a lot of damage. This has been a slow market. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah, that's gonna... I should have tried to just do an R1 to kill him. Too greedy. I was way too greedy in that fight. And for a lot of risky stuff. I think I could probably could have snuck an R1 in there during that combo, though. And killed him. Target. If you can just run behind him there and not get hit by that. Yeah, this attack I just need to run away from so I can bait this. Because then you can just get a lot of damage here. Or or not. Not if you miss him. How does this keep missing? gets me again, I'm healing. It's gonna miss again, probably. I had to, like, unlock to make sure I didn't hit the wrong part of him or something, and whiff. I didn't even have the Axe Talisman on. For some reason, I thought I did. I, I don't know why. It's funny, I never really thought about it, but the Grace situation here is exactly the same as it is in uh, DS3, right? After DSA. Or you can see both Graces from the same point. Nope. I will not. So, more Vigor. This damage is gonna be putrid, man. It's gonna be awful. It's gonna be a slow run, indeed. Is there some cool hailing tree armor that I don't have to farm for? Because I'd wear it for this, but I don't really, like I said, want to farm anything. Rather. 
Oh, nice. Took out his own dude. Honestly, for this run, I might just end up going with, like, something much tankier. I wonder how many runs I've done where I've just ended in the default armor set of the starting class. It's probably, like, a fair amount. Happens quite often. I think the last torch run I did the same thing. I just used this armor set. Because I'm pretty sure I started Warrior there, too. Uh oh. Godric's got like 8,000 HP, so <laughs> this fight's going to be very slow. Oh, can't level. Just did that already. Godric! And then Red Wolf and Renala with a torch, and then Draconic Tree Sentinel with a torch. Everything with a torch. Might be better off doing charged R2s, honestly. Damn, I was hoping I can get an extra attack in there. Two fighting fire with fire. How much blood? Jesus Christ, man. I can't be doing that to you. Look at all the blood. Damn, I was really hoping that was going to stagger him. I mean, honestly, like the, the charged R2s aren't like dreadful. What? This man looks like he has a tree on his right foot. Oh, what kind of damage is this? Is this strike? It is strike. That'll be good for Crystallians, which, you know, I only say that because we're going to go kill one. So I'll probably want to get plus plus nine for uh, whatever this boss is. Red Wolf or Nala? Two bosses. Sacred Tear. Probably I'm going to want more Sacred Tears in this run, too, honestly. More Sacred Tears, more Golden Seeds, just because of uh, Godskin Duo. Godskin Duo is like the worst boss to fight with a Torch, probably in the game. Or Rykard, actually. Rykard might be worse. Rykard's more tedious, but I think Godskin Duo is probably a harder fight. Although we will have Sleep. I don't know how much that'll help because my damage is going to suck, but could help. I don't know. Let's see, level... Uh, yeah, like, I don't want to start going Faith yet. I, I think it's just, like, too early. 
I think we just get as much vigor as we can to like 40 and then we'll worry about that. Uh, actually I needed to save some, didn't I, for... I don't know, I think I can still afford these, right? I'm only like 400. The smithing stone twos? Yeah. Nope, stop. Then I need to get some somber stones in the tunnel. Yeah, the temple quarter has to be closer than here. There's no way it's, it's not. Maybe not by much, but this looks so far away to get to the village. Jump. I love how the torch just appears out of nowhere. <laughs> when you like touch a grace. I mean, it's the same for all weapons, I guess. It's just, I don't know, you notice it more with the light, I think. Holy magic spam. Why oh, didn't we get this? Give me this. Gold Maroon 5. Did I get that? Grab. And then where was the grace, the temple core to grace? I can't remember. We'll find it though. We got the smithing stone twos here. I wonder if there's another gazebo with a three somewhere on this side. I don't see one though. I don't know, this is pretty far away. Like the village from here too. Like I don't think there's a good way to get there. Uh, but I need to get there for the Haley Tree Medallion piece. All right, now we just need the key and then we'll go to Ray of the Karya Crystal Tunnel. Grab a bunch of twos and threes. Upgrade and then do um, whatever the boss is. Red Wolf. Red Wolf for Nala. Say boss. Two bosses. You know what I'm going to do actually? I'm going to get the threes that are up this way too. Because then I can get plus nine. I'll be like guaranteed plus nine. And then I guess we'll just hoof it to wherever we're going. The tunnel. So I should have four threes. I have seven twos, I think. Yeah. There's enough twos in this tunnel for plus 12. Well, there's a gazebo over there, but I do not want to go over near the lobster. Hell no. Oh, thank you. Straight ahead. I see the door. Or tunnel. So we can get a smithing stone one, two, and three here. Or somber smithing stone one, two, and three. Is there anything off to the right? It's a chest. Any uh, smithing stones? I don't see any. Nothing underneath. All right. Kind of wish I didn't aggro these guys, though. I don't know what they're going to do. How much more annoying are they going to make this? Somber three. Baby jump. No, we're good. Take that. Yeah, I'm going to miss stance breaking really mattering on this run because you can't do crits with this thing or with any torch. Huh? You can be a little lax on the threes, because I have, like, two extra. Somber two here. Eight and eight. Oh, there's a... I didn't realize there was a... Oh, never mind. Somber three there. That was the ledge I've been using the whole time. I thought for some reason I missed that before, but, like, on another run. Not the case, though. All right, which one is a somber two? This one? Damn it. Not somber two, smithing stone two. Wait, there's a... Oh, never mind. I knew that. For some reason, I thought there was an extra smithing stone there. I don't know why I thought that. Two. So we should need, I think, just one, two, and how many threes? Maybe two? Yeah. So we're good. We'll have plus nine after this. We'll do the Crystallion. Smithing Stone one here, or Somber one rather. Bunch of Smithing Stone threes that I don't need. 14. I wonder if there's anything on this. Oh yeah, this is a Somber one? Three. I have three Somber threes, wow. A lot in this tunnel. And then another Somber one here. So I have a ton of somber smithing stones now that I don't need. <laughs> I just need one of each. All right, Crystallion. Hang on, let me try something.
Okay, so if you two hand, you can't do torch attack no matter what. What if I do this? Is that more damage? So torch attack is basically just worse than a charge shard two. In fact, it might even be the same as a charge shard two. You just do it in one hand, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Seems a little silly. goes the Crystallia. So we can actually just leave here. Go upgrade this thing. New items can be purchased. Ooh. What items? I don't even know. Oh, I need to get the... Uh... No, we're good, actually. Don't need to buy anything. Can I level? Nope. Alright, back to the south gates. Into Ring of the Car we go. I think the next stretch is going to be pretty rough. Like, well, not sorry. Let me. After uh, the Ring of the Car, yeah. It'll be rough. Like, we got to get through the Draconic Tree Sentinel, Rangdell. Basically, everything past that is going to suck. I might go to Weeping, too, to get the Sacred Tears there. I think those will help. Very curious, though, to use, like, Sleep on it. Pretty much everything in this game, because I've never really played with Sleep. But with a weapon that does, or that has sleep built in, like, I'll definitely do it. I don't know if R1s on the St. Trina's Torch do sleep, or if you have to use the Ash of War. I have no clue. Can't level up here, unfortunately. Little too few runes. 